All right, guys. Family Karma finale. Oh, I just got sad. I hate when we have to do finales, Kendrick. I know. Oh, I hate that. Remember when we did a finale for for Atlanta? That was a sad, that was a sad feeling. It was. It was a, the last, like, what was it? Last reunion part. Yeah. And then there was nothing after. They oh. didn't give us like one of those random, um, like uh, never more seen. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't get in one of those. So it was just like, oh, aw, bye. <laughs> the good news is now Kendrick and I are like work work husbands and wives so we'll, yes it's not like we're not gonna do something right like we'll be we'll, back. yeah we'll be back we'll we'll do something again but yeah it's sad when it comes to an end because you've been doing it every week mm-hmm. and then you're like oh okay well now it's over and this is a long season of family karma it so is a long season it was good i do have to say the wedding storyline did drag on did drag on quite a bit they mm. did it did like they did drag this on for longer than I anticipated, but that um I guess is how most housewives go, so why not? Yeah, it was um I think too it was kind of like a, a changing of the guard almost because we start off with one wedding and then ended with someone else entirely's wedding. So mm-hmm. It was it's, it's it was good. It was good. And there were a lot of like layers and complexity to uh-huh. this wedding in particular. Yes. Yes, um, yes, yes, yes. We're going to do something a little bit different tonight. We're not going to do our usual like detailed recap because Kendrick and I are going to we're going to get through this. We're going to do general thoughts and then Kendrick and I are going to hop on a live for my birthday cuz today is my actual B day. Ooh. ooh. Happy birthday. <laughs> so, you want me to sing the Stevie Wonder version for you? I don't sing the other one. From start <laughs> to finish. Here at She Speaks Bravo, we believe that Bravo TV is a great form of self-care and therapy. Look at me. I've been using it for over a decade, and I am a complete mess. That's me, by the way. I'm Emily, and I'm your host on this journey. What is this, honey? I love that. If you're not already subscribed, get subscribed and hit that notification bell, because I'm releasing new episodes at least three times a week. You fool. That's my opinion! I talk Bravo, I talk true crime, and sometimes I talk a little scripted. So whatever you're here for, I hope you enjoy the show. Something I really am con- I'm curious about. Okay. Bali's second husband. Face blurred out. Oh, we know oh. nothing about him. Oh she God. just says that she's been married twice and they show him and he's blurred. I'm like, oh my God, what mm. happened? This was the episode of Mysteries because I don't know if you're like me, but every time they showed the front row at the wedding, I was looking oh for my Nicholas's God. parents. Same. Every single time. I was like, oh, is that them? Every time I saw a white person, I'm like, is that him? Mm. Is that the dad? Who is that? Who is that person? Every single time without fail. That like no, like nothing will intrigue me more than not showing someone like that. I'm we we've mm-hmm. never seen this before. We've never had this type of footage on a Bravo show before, right? Where you know someone is there, and we're just not getting access to it. And they even they like even acknowledged them this time, though, which yes. I was like. It was so weird because what was it when they were uh, at the, uh, I can't forget a name of the it. Barat, when they were on the horse. were on the horses. Yeah, the mm-hmm. And ah! at that part, he was like, oh, dad, something, something, something. I was like, what? Your dad's there? What? What is happening? I didn't anticipate that. I just assumed they would be like nowhere near Nicholas when he was on the horse or anything. But mm-hmm. it was crazy. Yeah. How did I'm- we feel about Bal- Bali's pink tool dress? Oh my God. It, 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 she's a woman after my own heart because do you remember that um, it had to have been the Grammys one year when Re- like everyone was in like black suits and like all this stuff and Rihanna shows up in that huge pink dress and like they showed like a, a, like a, a photo from like a aerial photo like from the top and she was the only person you could pick out because she's like she's the only person like in a huge pink dress everyone else i'm like that is a person after my own heart right there like just breaking the rules and just doing whatever the hell you want to i love it that is what kendrick would show up in <laughs> yes that is exactly my i'm like trying to borrow it if she's done with it <laughs> i have a serious question how is brian so bad at picking up women 
is crazy. That girl did not seem interested. Although, yeah, I was gonna, I blame her actually. Yeah, this is her fault. This is it her was, fault. That wasn't his fault. She was giving him nothing. She was not fun at all. He needs someone who's gonna like go back and forth with him. She yeah. was boring. He needs someone to like jump off of, and she was, she wouldn't like, she wouldn't return the energy in any of those scenes and it was just really weird he thought she was cute but it was just like she was just why am i here what <laughs> oh is God. happening why are you talking to me what is going on like she I'm had like, no are you interest blind girl right i don't get it there's gotta be okay at yeah, this point there's gotta missing? be something we don't know right what what is happening i'm confused because if that man came up to me at a wedding and was talking to me and and no offense to her but like she's not like a supermodel this isn't like linda evangelista (laughs) you know like i would be like oh hell yeah this guy's talking to me and i would be but she everything he said she was like oh i mean right he does make cheesy jokes but how does that not endear you to him he's hitting on you and aren't you like you just tell you he's like literally because i don't it didn't look like she was well maybe she was i don't know at least on camera but like she didn't seem like she was like there were like a big group of people or anything so like i didn't it was like (laughs) nice guy like trying to drink with you and like it's kind of i don't know maybe she was uncomfortable the camera maybe she's not Uh, a camera person cameras i forget about that because a camera shows up suddenly and she's like oh no Mm -hmm. you know what i forget about that we're so you're right actually because a camera Mm -hmm. swoops in and suddenly she has to have a conversation with someone she's like never mind this is what's making her weird but (laughs) poor brian though man (laughs) he just keeps making himself look so foolish damn it but it just endears us more to him Mm -hmm. we love him all right let's get to the big one for me okay (laughs) reshma yes okay she can fuck (laughs) off Okay. <laughs> you know that scene cracked me the hell up. And I knew you were going to have a million things to say about it. I was like, oh, shit. Like, Reshma is not giving Dharma any energy at all. She is just like, what the fuck ever? And get out of my face. In fact, she was giving her, like, she was, like, evil, evil smiling and staring. Yes. I, oh, my God. I, I mean, that was a lot. It was intense. That it says intense. a lot, though, because then even Chitra in the confessional was like, I don't want to have any problems with RP. Mm. I feel like she must be notorious for being like, once you're shunned, you're shunned. Do you think Reshma is like that girl? Yeah. Do you like, think she's that girl in the community like where people are like, okay, I don't want to get on Reshma's bad side. Like, Do you think she's the gatekeeper of like the social groups or like something to where like people don't want to like intentionally piss her off i wouldn't say gatekeeper because if you notice there's that really it's a small little moment but it's chitra lopa and dharma all getting drunk together there's yeah. like a, i feel like no one really hangs out with reshma mm. or you I know think, what mm. i feel like reshma has a group of friends but like they're not on this show mm. and i feel like she has no interest in being buddy buddy with these people especially like after some of the stuff she sees on camera i think she's like you know what because she reshma strikes me as one of those people that takes the smallest thing to heart yes and so like she can't take a joke and like so whenever like she's remembering shit from like episode two of season (laughs) one and she's like nope i'm not letting that shit go that i remember when you said it the first time sorry it's in my brain you're never gonna be friends with me don't come over no chicken salad for you nothing and she she but she's like no 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 nothing's wrong no no Mm -hmm. no nothing's wrong which is the worst because you'll never you'll never fix it you're right. So Ever. that's so that's dangerous because it's like once you do one thing wrong, that's it. Uh-huh. And it's like, no, no, everything's fine. Everything is fine. And you're like, oh, but it's clearly not. No, no, you're it right. is. It's fine. Oh. I was terrified and also <laughs> very mad. I was very mad. Yes. <laughs> I was like, I knew I knew I didn't like you. Yes. <laughs> oh, I was like, don't you do that to Dharma. But I, I like that Dharma only called her an idiot in the confessional. She's like, Reshma's an idiot. I hope the camera was on her to get that. I'm like, oh, it was. Mm-hmm. Don't you worry. We all saw face. it. That must be, that, that's the face of like, you know how you can just like tell someone is so not interested in a conversation or someone looks down on you so much. That face she was making, that is my like new, whenever I'm like uninterested or my like boss asks me to do something I don't want to do, that's my go-to face now. That like smiling, 
Just that, <laughs> no, that that's it. Like, no, nope, <laughs> sorry. That's it. Jesus. So things are not Ugh. good there. Nope. Dude, how about the producer asking Monica, are you still as confident as you were before about Rish Ooh. not cheating on you? And she's like, no. Ooh. Yeah. And what always like, uh, what always plays in the back of my mind is that one of the downfalls of reality TV is that it's been around so long now that we know how it's made. And so we know these like interviews and confessionals are done way after the fact. And so like when they answer certain questions, you never know if they're actually answering like, oh, let me say about my thought of mind in this moment, or let me say what I'm thinking oh. right now, present day while I'm recording. Oh. So I never like, so it's like, okay, is that how you felt then? Or have you found out some more information recently that we don't know and we need a season four because we need to find the hell out like, yeah, what, we, what's going we, on we still we thought we were going to get an answer on their relationship but we really uh, we are up in we are in limbo still on where they know nothing all i know yeah. is nor told me that she you know she's seen people say that they've seen them together recently oh. so who knows i don't uh, know in the clubs, as she said. <laughs> Get <laughs> out. Get yeah. out. Um, mm. It was the, the Brian and Amrit love story is very sweet. You know how they, they, they split and they came back together. You know, that's very. Oh, Amrit and Nicholas. Yeah. What did I say? Brian? <laughs> Brian and Amrit. Yeah. <laughs> He's always on the brain. It's okay. Sorry. It's all, it's okay. I even wrote Brian because I was like, I don't care about anyone else. <laughs> I don't exactly. care about anyone else. <laughs> Nicholas and Amrit's love story. Very sweet. Yes. Um, And this is where the message of this show is always just. It's like, this is why the show's so great. He's like, the struggle doesn't end once you come out of the closet. We are still mm-hmm. fighting for acceptance. People still want us to go away and disappear forever. So having this wedding is our opportunity to show that and, be, and represent that. And so that's what mm-hmm. makes Family Karma above so many of the other shows. Because yes. you get the drama and you get all that stuff, but then you get this. This season was just so fantastic, like the way it was made overall, because it was so... you. I, it's hard for reality TV shows to show this much balance Mm -hmm. because to be fully entertaining, like showing the drama of it all, the emotional stuff of it all, like for everything to be as enthralling as it is, like equally to each other. Bravo. Like it's fantastic television. If you didn't watch family karma this season, you've got to go back and watch it. Go back and binge all three seasons. Now it's a quick binge. You won't be disappointed. Just go back and watch them and fall in love. I love how many people have gotten into it because of do- us doing this recap. It's like, is every- it. and no one, everyone's so happy too, because yes, it's, yes. it's that good of a show. It gives you, because when you have a group of friends, because the producers were smart, they found this crew. A and genuine they were, group of friends. Exactly. And they're like, mm-hmm. they fight and they make up. And it's true. Mm-hmm. Like this group fights pretty heavy and they make up, mm-hmm. but yet they have this real true message that needs to be out there this this representation is important yes i love that when they were on the horses for the barat there were people on the balconies from the like on the street like in their apartments and in the hotels just loving it and that must have been so fun i love that i I was jealous of them i'm like i wish i I could be one of those people on those balconies like what is this i know i had a friend that got married uh like it was a like a known hotel in Destin. So like, you know, Des- I don't know if you've ever been to Destin, but Destin has like that strip where like there are all those like nice hotels and stuff like that. She got married at one of those, like it was an outside wedding. It was, it was in like July. So like, I was about to like fucking melt, but <laughs> it was like, it was an amazing wedding. And like people, like the hotel is so nice because all of the rooms had balconies. So like, so many guests were like up there too just like looking down watching like the entire ceremony from start to finish Aww. so like when it was time for them to kiss like everyone on the balconies clapped and Aww. everything like that like it was beautiful so i know this just like for them to be a gay couple doing this for the first time like on tv it had to have been like the best feeling in the world and what a like what a visual too you got these yeah. two guys on horses and all mm-hmm. of these people dancing around and so they even, amazing. this is where it was so crazy. They're like, Nicholas, your parents were like dancing in the crowd. Like, wow. Wow. <laughs> I bet this changed their fucking life. I bet this I'm, just 
I mean, I really wish we could hear from them, but I bet it did. I bet they were forever affected by this. I wonder, I wonder if, um, cause they seem like it's been like a complete, like 180 since they got down there. So I'm wondering, do you think that dinner with, uh, mm. uh, with Omrit's parents, like actually was like a turning point for them? Like, do you think it just like put them at ease so much that they were like, okay, if we're going to lean into this, we've got to like lean all the way into it. We can't be like have half a foot in. We got to like fully support our son. I don't know if it was if it was that maybe, but like I also wonder if it was just like okay, wow, it's not so bad. Like now that right. we're here, it's like wow, okay, they are just people that love our son, and mm -hmm. we want our son to be loved. And this is just wow, they are just a couple. This is yeah. just like if he was with a woman. It's right. not, you know, like that's what I think. It just becomes so demonized in mm -hmm. their heads. Like, oh my god, you're with a man. What do you right. guys do? Just wear devil costumes? Like, no. <laughs> right. It's pre it's pretty dull sometimes. Right. It's just like we, you know, we wake up and we do normal mundane things. We're just a couple, and right. so I'm and being surround. Think a lawyer about, and a teacher. Like, what what do you expect us to do right now? Think, and I hate to say this, but like, think about how boring their lives probably are. What they're like, <laughs> right? Compared, and then you got this. Indian wedding with all these people like twirling mm -hmm. around the streets with horses. Mm -hmm. They're like, this is the best. Okay. Right. Like mm -hmm. they went back and they were like in their boring little judgy church with all the <laughs> judgy friends being like, oh, you went there. They're like, you have no idea. That was colorful and beautiful mm -hmm. and everyone loved us and they wanted to meet us and you know what I mean? I bet they were like, yep. this was like, that is like a TV movie. Okay. Yeah. Right? Put like, that shit on Hallmark. I'll watch it. Put it, it right now. <laughs> I mean, for real. Hell yeah. The number one thing that I've learned so far in 2023 that has been a total game changer is that gut health means overall health, mental health, physical health, the works. I did not know that serotonin is produced in your gut. So when you take care of your gut, it helps you to beat stress, helps with, you know, a little bit of anxiety. And the two products that I have incorporated into my daily routine are the Just Thrive Probiotic and the stress-busting, mood-uplifting Just Calm. Just Thrive Probiotics supports digestive, immune, and total body health. It actually produces antioxidants right in the gut. It gets to your gut alive, which most probiotics do not. It eliminates bad bacteria. It replenishes it with good bacteria. And if you have kids, you can open up the capsules and sprinkle it in foods and drinks to sneak it in there for them. And to take the stress busting mood support to the next level, add in Just Calm. This product has helped me have a healthier response to stress. This product has helped me stay focused because I've had a lot of episodes to get done lately. It's also helped me sleep better and it's improved my energy levels, obviously, because if you sleep better, you have better energy. It's just overall great. Just Thrive products have more clinical research than just about anyone else in the industry. They're all natural and they have a money back guarantee. You got nothing to lose. If you're ready to up your wellness game and beat bloat, digestive issues, stress, and more, you can get 15% off a bottle of Just Thrive Probiotic and a bottle of Just Calm with promo code SHESPEAKS at JustThriveHealth.com. While you're there, check out all their other research-based products for optimal gut and immune health. There is something for everyone, even a probiotic for your fur baby, all with a bottom of the bottle guarantee. Take control of your health this year with Just Thrive. Oh my God, when Amrit, I wish we had seen it, but I was right there with you when Amrit stopped, like I was way down the aisle. Amrit mm -hmm. stopped to touch his father-in-law's feet. And the only mm -hmm. reason we knew that was because you hear Brian go, oh my God, I just got choked up. Like I couldn't, oh. mm -hmm. I'm like, how are we not seeing this? What trickery with the camera work, man? Like they really, they make right. sure they figured out the framing of all of those shots so that they were not in frame. Mm -hmm. Wow. I've I need, never seen like, that. Some I need some internet sleuths to like go back and figure this shit out. Like I want to, I want to know. I just want to see what they look like. That's all. I just want to know. I just want to know. Me too. I mean, I, I was observing. I, I to like really when you think about it, though, that was mm -hmm. bold of them to say we will go and and 
know that there is filming happening, but not mm -hmm. be filmed. Like, wow, cameras were everywhere. People are mic'd up. And you got to be really trusting of production to totally. do that. Totally. Yeah. So that is a, like, that was a very big leap for them. Mm -hmm. So I do, that, that actually does say a lot. Um, mm -hmm. I love, I love Anisha and Brian crying. Like they didn't, yes. didn't want to admit it, but Anisha's just, her eyes were just, she's like, I didn't want to mess up my makeup. So I just kept my eyes open real wide. <laughs> and didn't also, blink. <laughs> congratulations to Anisha. Have you seen the photos? Oh my God. Gorgeous. Beautiful. And her husband's a looker, right? He, yeah, that's he's a tall. beautiful couple. He's, yeah. he's tall. He's got some big dick energy. Yes. <laughs> I have a yes. very accurate penis radar. It's like, oh. it's been, I do, it's been, I mean, it's been a while since I've had to put it to use, but back in my, <laughs> back in my 20s, it was like a 99.9% .9 accuracy rating. Oh. And I'm getting very, very large energy from him. Okay. I have never had that superpower. Mm, yes. I'm very good Ever. at it. And I was, and I was, I was spot on with like random people too. Like people that you were like, mm. him, I'm like, I don't know, I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. And I found out because <laughs> I was <laughs> a little, little slut. Back in the day. <laughs> Who wasn't? You it's know, okay. <laughs> I was so proud. I was just, you know, I've looked back on those years and I'm proud of myself for doing it when I had the chance. There you go. You know, don't regret those years, I tell you. There you go. Just be safe. <laughs> just, just, you know, don't be don't, safe. Be safe so you don't have to, re you don't have to regret it for the rest of your life, kind of a thing. Right. You know, like, so, mm -hmm. you know. Um, but yes, uh, they, she looked, the, 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 photos are unbelievable of that wedding yeah. like she mm -hmm. really did it up like she that absolutely stunning how oh, cute was it I'm how cute was it with the dog with theo walking oh. following them around the fire mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my god too fucking cute mm. that was too cute that was that whole ceremony was just great it really was. It was fantastic. Mm -hmm. It was absolutely fantastic. I loved everyone looked amazing for that black tie event after. That was a yeah. costume change and a half and everyone turned out. Mm -hmm. That's not easy to do a costume change like that. You're already in one outfit. You got to flip it for the next. I was right. impressed. Go y'all. Brian hits him. Brian hits on that girl Alicia again, who, by mm -hmm. the way, he thought was Monisha. <laughs> he's like i think i'm in love her name's monisha i think and it was not it was alicia but it's not Definitely his fault alicia. it's not his fault it was she sucks yeah but then avni comes over and i'm like doing, doing too much again she's she's not a wing woman like she wants to claim she is absolutely not girl you are not you think you are mm -hmm. but you are not you are not a wing woman Mm -mm. she was doing way too much you can tell like that was like the tipping point for her she kind of like was like okay i'm like for some reason like main character energy right here and i hate that so like i'm trying to go over here and like because she wouldn't even answer the question she was like i'm not gonna reveal the status yeah. of like me i'm like what an answer like what is that e what get out of here lady right go away uh -huh. Hate that for him. I hate that for him. He and he walks away. He's like, oh God, I can't. Like this just he's like, all of this is bad. Cut this, please. Just cut this from the show. Please don't right. show this. <laughs> cut. I don't know. How do we God. I Bally 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 telling O'Malley <laughs> was what I was just about to say. Bally <laughs> Bally telling O'Malley. <laughs> it was sweet because I like that he it was very, it was like a, such a man that he goes, I want to apologize to you for not making you feel confident enough to come tell me this. That mm. was so like, way to go, dude. He way seems to like go. a good guy. God, doesn't he? Yeah. Such a bear. Mm -hmm. Such we a bear. Those. We do love those. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he can just pick her up with one hand, like swirl her around. And, yeah. Mm -hmm. For real. Yeah. 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 Go Bali. I, I just want to see the house that she's moving into. Yeah, because see, OK, we, you know, we're stuck on the location because I know I am every single week. You are. Yeah. But then when you think about it, one of the bright sides about not being like in a L.A., New York, Miami, you know, in somewhere in the triangle is that maybe you get a whole lot more house for exactly. a lot less. So like maybe yeah. he's got a 
nice ass four hundred thousand dollar house and it's like an empire in miami so i mean you you know you just listen just go start going to trader joe's and you know find your local you know whether you have kroger or Publix, you know okay. find one of those you're and, just you making know. it sound so <laughs> shitty <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to help Bali. Like, look on the bright side. Like, there's... Oh, wait. She's in Louisville, right? No? Is that Lopa? No, Lopa's here with me. Oh, yeah, that's right. She... Where is he? He's in... He's somewhere ale in Kentucky. Louisville Louisville sounds right. No, Louisville sounds right. Let's go with that. God, I used to go to the races... Ooh. In one of the L cities. Okay. So that's something funny. Bali, you can put on like the big hat. Oh, that's the, so the, her. Yes, the gowns. And you will have a lovely time at the derbies. You can go like start with the weekend stuff, like the, uh, the uh, what are they called? Jesus the, Christ, we're giving her like something. an itinerary. I know. I'm like, I'm trying to help you as much as you can, Bali. Like, I need an update on your life immediately because that's a good man, but I get it. Okay. <laughs> like, I, you know. I so now it. we're going to have both Anisha and Bali not there in Florida. Mm. So they're going to have to be like commuting to do this job. Let me ask you. That's what I've been wanting to ask you for a while now. And I keep forgetting. Do you think the production is mad at Anisha for not doing any of this on camera? Because we got two like stupendous weddings this season or do you think they were like you know what enough with the weddings like let's move on to other stuff like i I would imagine they want her i would imagine they want at least meet the guy on camera but i I wonder if she was in constant communication with them saying like i would love to but he doesn't want to do it i think that Uh. i'm wondering if like because didn't hasn't she said outright that she would do it on camera and he's the one who doesn't want isn't that what she said i think so so if it's not her choice, if it's his choice and mm-hmm. she's like, I would love to, he just doesn't want to, then I feel like they might be understanding and be okay. like, she would, she wants it, um, but he doesn't want it. The only thing that does, I know, piss off production is when they do that thing where they don't have it on camera, but they give it to people with the exclusive Mm. like that, like when, like on Southern Charm, when Cam did that, Cam really pissed off production cam was one of their main characters Mm -hmm. she was like the narrator of the show she never showed her man and then off season got married and gave people the exclusive and they were like you bitch (laughs) how could you and you know what did she get fired after the season or did she come back the next no she came back because she was very much a fan favorite she she left on her own accord because she couldn't handle the heat because mm. it got a little saucy and some rumors were coming out about her husband and she had to get out because her husband, there were there were lots of rumors around Charleston about her husband and she was like, oh. no, no, we cannot have that even start. Oh, yeah. She always want, I, you know what? Maybe it's the housewives world is a lot more strict about that. Because mm. remember, like, yeah, we hear many different things, but like, obviously, Kenya Moore was punished for doing that off camera. Like, that was one of the things. I'm surprised Portia was like welcomed back as fast as she was when she did it. You know, she, you know, she wasn't a housewife when she did it, but like, you know, her saying like, I'm not coming back. Y'all aren't getting this part of my life anymore. And then her being welcomed right back to ultimate girls trip. I don't know if it's cause they knew they had Giselle and Candace there to like poke and poke and poke, but I don't know. It, it seems like, you know, it's a much bigger deal with housewives in particular. Maybe it's because it's such a, a coveted spot. Like, you know, who yeah. fucking cares about the cast of this show, that show, this show. But like housewives, everyone is very invested in who holds a peach. I always say peach, but you know, who holds a, a you know, who's in the who opening holds, credits. Yeah. No, I do mm-hmm. wonder if how much, because Anisha held so much off the show, seemingly yeah. because he wanted to. Um, I feel like there's got to be a big conversation happening with her. Like, what is your role on the show if you cannot show that side of your life? Let me ask you this, too. How confident are we that we're going to get a season four? I, hope, I think this is their I best hope, season, but yeah. I hope this doesn't feel like um, a conclusion. 
because right. you know it kind of has that feeling to it where it's like mm-hmm. now they're married v- vish has his drinking under control bali's moving in with with o'malley like i hope mm-hmm. it doesn't have that finality to it uh. i know so we have to see where the storylines can go and that's up to them to see where they go but it that yeah. is what I was wondering when I watched the end of it. And I was like, well, fuck. Now, what are they going to do next year? Because everyone's kind of wrapped up. Right. It'd be different if we got like a reunion because they're like, oh, my God, there's so much. And they could like, and they could like, the yeah, reunion, totally. Right? Yeah. But we at least like last season, we got that uh like wild ass watch what happens live yeah, appearance that was and so, so like, good we at least had that so we were like okay we need a season three because anisha and monica hate each other so we need to know what's going on there but like what is what is happening I don't and know. there was still some open-ended drama too at the end of last season mm-hmm. so this just felt like like they with the way um. Amrit, the way Amrit and Vish, with the way they were like, we're both spiritually married, because uh, it, you know, right. it was so like we're all in a good place now. And I, I was the watching only, it like, oh no, what are we doing here? The only thing I can say is that uh, Vishal and Amrit were on Watch What Happens Live, and Vishal yes. did imply that there was some drama between him and Brian because of the aunties. Yes. So maybe that's where we go. We get into a whole, like, yes. Benny versus everybody thing, or Reshma and, uh-huh. you know, them versus everybody. I don't know, but... And look, don't get me wrong. They, production, they're there. They may know, like, oh, no, there's plenty of drama still. They may right. just have wanted to give us a happy ending because unlike all the other toxic shows, this is a nice cast. God, right. You know what I mean? So they, <laughs> mm-hmm. they're they like, don't worry. There's plenty of drama. Nicholas and Amrit have to have a baby now, and that's going to be something we want to follow. Mm-hmm. Vish is still struggling with his sobriety, so let's f- keep following that. Right. Um, Bali Lopa is, still hates him. Lopa <laughs> still hates him. Bali is going to move in with O'Malley, but we do need to see like how that's going to play out. So we're they mm-hmm. gave it a pretty button. Yeah. But and it was just maybe for the because show. Maybe more. it was just for the show. So you know yeah. what? We're, no need to panic. Okay. Okay. Ready to panic, everyone. We we panicked, but ignore our panic. Ignore us. Yes. We're not panicking. There's plenty of drama. Plenty of drama left to come. Yes. We got that. Okay. I'm always, Whew. you know, when I don't get to see like the live plus three, I'm always concerned about anybody. So, <laughs> yeah. you know, I always think someone's going to get canceled. You know, Netflix has really done a number on us because we think that everything good is getting canceled because you better not get attached to a Netflix show. It's not coming back. It's yeah, not coming that's a back. Good point. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, okay, so let's rate this season out of ten. Uh, let's go. No, let's give it an, a grade. A grade. Okay. What would you give it? I would give this season. Honestly, I would give it a B plus. Okay. I thoroughly enjoyed this season, and you know what. There may be other factors to like, because I feel like that's a high grade, but there may, might be other factors like, you know, following up with Potomac every week, like, dear Lord, is a lot. You know, Potomac, you, your, your energy level goes to the pits of hell because you're having to deal with not just like the stuff on camera, but like the fandom that goes with it. And this is such like a breath of fresh air for an hour that it's like a, it's a good, um, what do they call it? Palate afterwards? A good palate cleanser. Yes. A good palate cleanser after you're done with Potomac. So I've thoroughly enjoyed this season. I thought it had a great mix of drama, a great mix of comedy, a great mix of, uh, the emotional. I thought it really truly had it all. And I definitely think that it was family karma's best season. I'm going to go. I am right there with you. I I would give it an A minus. Oh, OK. I'm giving it an A minus because it was its longest season. Yes. Uh, it, it it did hold. The only reason it's a minus and not a straight A is because mm-hmm. I did get a little exhausted of the wedding storyline i felt like we could have shaved yeah. one episode off i'm like okay i don't need to hear one more of this guys like because do... you really have to be a wedding person for like yeah, that yeah. and everyone isn't yeah yeah and i'm like okay we don't need one more of that but mm-hmm. i thought we got so many layers of conversation we got vish going through his drinking stuff we got monica mm-hmm. being made a fool of with rishi mm-hmm. we got we got um 
we got a lot. We got a lot of stuff. So I thought it was a great season, more from the aunties, um, good pacing. We got even more from the interaction with the crew. That was yeah. amazing. Watching them, how, how much they bonded with them. Mm -hmm. So I really, really think that they they should absolutely bring it back. And they will. They will, Kendrick. We don't need to panic, right? They we will. Don't need, we don't need to panic. I'll okay. Why don't we say like what we want the most out of season four then? Okay. I like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. I want to see... Um, I want to see some real, like real, real stuff from Dish because mm. I know that he, we saw him be like, I'm good. I'll have a drink. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't trust that. Yeah. Totally. I want to see him really get some work done with himself. And I want to see Reshma get some work done with herself. Mm. I want to see Reshma need to, I want to see Reshma like have to dig deep and maybe get called out by the aunties. Maybe get called out by Chitra, called out by mm -hmm. Lopa, and called out by Dharma. And it's like, listen, you're being a bitch and we're not going to tolerate it anymore. I want right. to sit down with her. I want the aunties to like have to deal with that. I want more from them for sure because that mm -hmm. dynamic in that group really fascinates me. And Reshma just doesn't show up for filming enough. And if she yeah. wants to be on the show, I want her to do group scenes with the aunties where she has has to like answer for it i would love to see more of that play out because it's mm -hmm. oh, it's just so layered and deep yes um and i mean i guess we're gonna have to see uh, amrit and nicholas try to have a baby that mm -hmm. does fascinate me because i don't really think we've seen a ton of gay couples try to have children right so that's good. Let's see that. Let's see how that let's let's watch that play out. Okay. Um, and I want to watch more of Brian dating. I want a ton of Brian same. dating. Same, same. I want to see him on so many dates. I want Dharma mm -hmm. hooking him up. I want that. Absolutely. Yes. I love that. The only thing I'll add to that because I want to see all of that too. And I you know what? I want as many, like as often as you're filming with like the younger people on the show, like the main cast, I want you filming that often with like the auntie and uncle group scenes because I feel like this show, we know everyone enough now to where we can genuinely bounce back between the two. Totally. And you'll give us, we'll get enough drama to where like these episodes, like this show will be taken from a B plus to an A plus. A hundred percent. Easily if you did that. And the other thing I want, this is going to sound so shady and I swear it's not, because I love me some Anisha. I love me some Robin Dixon. You know this. I love these two people. I think this, you know, I've, I've stated, I think the stupidest thing in the world would be for Bravo to fire Robin. Yeah. Since, like, bring her now back. Now she like, has to answer for all of those right, things. Right. Like, yeah. like, why would we deprive ourselves of, like, that amazing season eight? Like, it'll be hard for us La Robins, but, you know, we'll deal <laughs> cause for great TV. <laughs> but, like, that would be, you know, we need to see that. Yeah. I kind of want Anisha to have a similar thing where because I don't know if anyone was invited to this wedding. Yeah, no, like, she needs to get called out. Anisha needs yes. a season where she's busted for keeping stuff off camera. Yes, and I kind of I, like I hate it because like I I get it. I I'm genuinely right get you. it all, but I kind of want to see it. It's so. just <laughs> because that's how fair we are. We love her, right? But she, it's only fair that she gets called out for that. Mhm. Mm like I you know I love me some Robin Dixon but show it all to me. I want to see what the hell y'all are going to do. Like yeah. I need all of this. Yes. Yeah. Okay, those were great. Yeah, there we go. Boom. Season Done. 4, we wrote it for you. There, there you go. There you go, Bravo. guys. All right. Cut You're welcome producers. You're welcome. <laughs> we got your storylines. Don't worry. I'll send Bloop. you guys this episode. All right. Mhm. Mm On that note, guys, we've got to wrap this up cuz we got to get ready for our live. So <sighs> I'm sad. Bye, family karma. We love you. We really, really do. Let's let's manifest something before we go. Let's manifest okay. that we get a Real Housewives of Atlanta trailer very Ooh, soon. Yes. And we can like set a date and we'll just come back together. <laughs> you know, obviously I have to be invited, but if Emily wants me, I she knows I'm Isn't here to crazy? do Atlanta. <laughs> Kendrick, we are. I already even said I was like I got so excited because I'm like, oh my god, now we know like how to do these like seasons together. We're gonna make yes. like now we can. We're gonna Atlanta's gonna be even better because we already mm -hmm. did Atlanta. I'm so excited for Atlanta. Like, oh my god, I'm getting hot just thinking about it. I'm so excited for Atlanta. Oh my god, I cannot. And Candy has been talking about so much about how she had to go from you know um the Escape and SWV show starts yes this Sunday. I'm so, so excited. Oh my, me too. She talked about how she had to go from that. Like filming, like them get on her fucking nerves to going right into Atlanta filming. So she's grumpy. She said all <laughs> last year, she was like, I was so pissed off just like 
all the time. She's like, I got into screaming matches so often last year. Like, I don't know what was going on. I'm like, give it to me now. Redhead candy. Redhead candy. Give it to me now. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> yes. Uh, all right, oh. guys. Well, Kendrick, thank you, as always, for joining me on this Family Karma journey. I love of you. Of course. I love the you best. more. Mwah. Mwah, mwah, mwah. All right, guys. Don't forget to follow Kendrick at Reality and Comics 2. Oh, no. Reality <laughs> Comics 2. I don't want to get your handle wrong. I'll put everything in the description. Y'all know how yes, I do yes, it. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Reality and Comics 2 podcast everywhere you get your podcasts. We love you guys, and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye. I know. It's sad. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. If you did, would you mind leaving me a five-star rating and review on whatever platform you are listening? If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget there's the super thanks option down at the bottom, the little button with the dollar sign and the heart. And also I'm on buymeacoffee.com slash she speaks bravo if you want to buy me a little coffee or two or five. And my Patreon, that is where I'm covering all of the classic Bravo jams. If you want to follow me over there and subscribe, link is in the description. And follow me on Instagram and TikTok at She Speaks Bravo. And whoever the guest was for today, all their information is always in the episode description. So if you want to follow them and check them out, check there for the info. And any of the sponsor codes that I mentioned in this episode will also be in the description. I love you guys. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. And I'll see you next time. Bye.